Hello everybody and welcome back to another Broadway Gymnastics online lesson. I'm Coach Nick and today we have a super fun lesson planned for you guys including some really cool stuff we're going to do with beam routines. So stick around for that but we're going to start jumping right into our warm up. Now remember we're starting with a little bit of cardio, going into a full body stretch and then doing a couple of dynamic skills across the floor. So make sure you have enough room and you're in a safe area and we are going to go ahead and start the timer with jumping jacks. And go. done. Remember to get your arms all the way up at the top. You want your hands together and you can even do clapping if it helps you. We got five more seconds. Okay, then moving into our high knees. Remember to focus on your arms too. Seconds. All right, and your shuffle touch. So remember, depending on how much room you have, you can shuffle longer or you can stay in a smaller area. Whatever works for you. Try to shuffle nice and low to the ground and make sure you're touching all the way next to your foot. 10 more seconds. All right, and around the world. So we're lunging to the front, to the side, backwards, and then switching legs. You don't want that knee to touch the ground but make sure you're getting nice and low. So close, but not all the way. All right, and we are moving into our stretch. So starting straddle reach to the right. And switch to the left. Move on to your middles. Remember, try to get your hands flat on the ground or reach back. And sweeps. So sweep far back and throw up. So throw your hands nice and high. Good, and then we'll go sit into a bike. We're gonna go point to toes and reach, try to grab around your feet. All right, we're going to go into butterfly. Remember, heels in as close as they can go and try and get your knees flat on the ground. And slide out to a diamond. Good, on your knees, fingers facing you, palms flat on the ground and just try and lean back. Good, and we're gonna turn our hands in, and then we're gonna turn them out, in, and out. Good, and then we're just gonna shake them out before moving into our Achilles stretch. We're gonna start with that right Achilles, foot flat on the ground. Switch. All right, we got our heel raises, and we're just gonna roll out before moving into our dynamic stretch. Okay, so our first dynamic, we're gonna go ahead and start with our releve walks across the floor. Remember reaching tall before moving into passe blocks. 
Remember, you can try and hold that passe for an extra challenge before kicking out. And into our handstands. And we're finishing that strong lunge and make sure to lever it. And cartwheels. Same thing, remember to finish in a nice strong lunge. Hands on hips with little straight jumps. Ten more seconds, and then we are done with warm up. All right. Great job, you guys. That is it for our warm up, and it's time to move into beam routines. Alright you guys, so as we're jumping into our beam routines, I want you guys to go ahead and set up your beams now. So if you want to use a blanket, if you want to use a towel, if you want to use a tape line, today I just put out two shoes, marking the end and the beginning so I can make sure that I'm staying straight on the line. Now, for a beam routine, it's very similar to floor in the fact that we have requirements. So today we're going to want to make sure we do jumps, walks, turns, and an acro skill. So those are our four focuses. Now. We're going to start with turns today because we haven't gotten into this one too much. So we're all going to start in a strong lunge and we're just going to practice our turn. So right now my good foot is in front, my bad foot is behind me. I'm going to take my good arm just like I'm holding a basket and my bad arm is going to go to the side. Now we want to go to a passe. Okay, so we want to bring that back foot to the front knee. And we want to bring our arms up and tall in a crown. So we've done this crown before, so it should seem familiar. So we're going to try just that. This is called the prep for turn. So the first step. So everything's going to come up. And I step. We're going to do that one more time. So my good foot's in front. Bad foot's planted back. I have my basket. I'm straight out. And I'm pull it up. Step finish. Very nice. Okay, so all we're going to do there to make a turn happen now is as we bring our back foot forward, we are going to turn our hips out, just like that. So our arms are going to be the same, but as this toe is coming to our knee, this foot is going to be up on a nice releve, and this momentum is going to turn our hips out. Now we either have the half turn or the full turn. So let's try with the arms now, just a little half turn. Good. And then if we want the full turn, we're just going to have to pull our hips a little bit harder. So we're going to try that now, bring it all together. Woo. All right. Now remember, if you're doing a full turn, you want to make sure that you're finishing stepping to the front. Okay, so we're going to do one more full turn. Pull it up to a nice tall row bit. Arms come up. Good. And remember, I can see that I went off of my line. So we're practicing these beam routines with everything staying on your line. Okay, so we have our turn. Now we want to do jumps. So remember, jumps on a beam we're really focusing on our landings. So our beam feet are always gonna be squeezed together. So we're gonna try a wolf jump. I'm gonna swing back, wolf. And make sure that they're squeezed super tight so I'm on that line. Now an acro skill. Things are gonna get kind of tricky here. If I'm doing a car wheel and I reach and come this way, I'm off my beam. So for a beam routine, you really wanna focus on keeping it nice and straight. So we have our acro, we have our jump, we have our turn, now we want to make sure that we are also going to have our walks. And remember, we're going to add our walks in as transitional elements. So if I want to get onto my beam and start with a turn. Now, before I do my jump, I'm going to do a relevé walk. Before swinging, and jump. Now remember, we've also talked about pivot turns. So here I can step, pivot, before doing my acro skill. What you guys are going to notice on the beam is that we're going to have a lot of place fillers. A lot of posing, a lot of pivoting, a lot of turning. So there's a lot of different elements that are going to happen along the beam to fill in places for the full routine. Now, we're going to try to do a beam routine all together. We are going to do one jump, one turn, one acro skill, and try and fill it with as many place fillers as possible. So meaning adding a passe walk, adding a pivot turn, adding anything we can to make our routine look nice and fluid, just like on the floor. 
So for today, I'm gonna to make my jump a wolf jump. For my turn, I'm gonna do a half turn. And for my acro skill, I'm going to do a cartwheel. So, we're all gonna try with those three skills. We're gonna get onto the beam, and our first thing up is gonna be our jump. But now I don't wanna just start with the jump, so I'm gonna start with my releve walk. Freeze, swing down, and jump. Take two more steps, and I'm gonna add a pivot turn. Now, I'm all at the end of the beam, so here's a good time for me to add in my cartwheel. So I'm gonna go step, lunge, lever, kick into my cartwheel. I'm gonna fix my positioning a little bit just because my back foot kind of went off. And then I'll remember that at this point, all I have left is a half turn. So I'm gonna add passe, passe. Now I'm in a nice position to go half turn and freeze. Now, depending on the surface you chose to use, the dismount can obviously be a little tricky, but you can do a jump to the side, you can do a cartwheel off the end, or whatever works best for you. Remember to have fun with those beam routines and get creative, and feel free to add in as many skills as you want to. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are so excited to see you guys back in the gym as soon as possible, but for now, we will see you guys in the next one.